Hello, my name is Hunter, and I'm gonna show you how to use the Revolve tool in Fusion 360. I'm also gonna go over some tip and some trick, and we are gonna use uh, image references, and we are gonna use the line tool to make these amazing chess pieces. Hope you enjoy the tutorial, and let's get started. I'm gonna start on turning on my uh, grid. Uh, I need a reference image, so I'm gonna go to insert and insert canvas. I'm gonna go insert from my computer and I'm gonna put a link in description uh, where you can find this chess image on Google. And of course, you can just use your own image. Alright, uh, I'm gonna choose the image and to open. I'm gonna select what face I wanna have it on. I actually want to have it on the front one and it actually came out way too small so I'm gonna do scale x 20 and scale y 20 this looks good you can of course flip it if you would like that but we don't need to use this so I'm gonna just press ok uh, next up we don't know if uh, this chess piece is actually 30 here or 58 on the height so we are actually only gonna check the one thing and not just this 30 so um, I'm gonna just make a circle so I'm gonna go to create sketch and then I have to choose uh, my top Create circle. Well, let's I'll choose uh, 30 and enter. Uh, now I'm gonna right click and extrude or press pull, your choice. And now we get this circle. So we need to go to the under the canvas one, uh, do an edit canvas. So we right click and do edit canvas. You can press the front view. And we're gonna move it in place so we can see if it fits or not. So it looks like it has to be a tiny bit smaller so it will uh, it'll fit to this chess piece. So this seems to be okay. It's maybe a little bit bigger, but it doesn't matter. So okay. So I'm gonna actually just delete the body. I'm gonna just uh, right click and delete the body. Right click and delete the body. And now I'm gonna go to the front view. I'm gonna go to create sketch. I'm not gonna actually choose this one. I'm just gonna click on the image. And I'm gonna choose this line. This tool is so good. Um, I'm gonna have the 3D uh, sketch off. There is actually, uh, I just like it more, you know, to, I know I'm only drawing in one viewport like this. And also if you have it on, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna press escape, go to the 3D sketch tab, uh, activate the align again by pressing L and start drawing see you have this axis and you have this box over here and you can rotate and stuff like that and i honestly don't like it i think it's super you know hard to use this and it's just easier to draw with it off so so but of course you can play around with it if you like to so I'm just going to draw it and now I'm just clicking between dots so I'm just going with the mouse not holding anything in or anything just clicking and moving the mouse and clicking so if I want to get an arc I can hold my mouse down and then I get this tiny arc actually maybe you cannot see it so good Gonna do like this and hold it down, get the tiny arc again, and hold it down in this direction. So I will get this arc. Okay, I'm doing it a little bit more extreme than actually the image, but it's okay. So 
if I try now to hold it in and you know do like this, uh, it doesn't work. Damn. Um, I'm gonna do Ctrl Z and show you how you can actually do this so it will work. So uh, the th the trick is actually is to try to make the line actually go a little bit in the direction first, you know, in, with the angle you want to go to. So we are gonna zoom out and we can see we want to go with the angle something like that. So now we can hold it in. Up, let's see. I was actually a little bit not in a position, so I'm gonna just undo it. Control Z, press Add, and now we can do it exactly like we want to. So, do something like that. It doesn't have to be exact. We will just do something like this. Now, let's take the circle, something like this, and let's end it here. And um, now we have to make it go down. So now we finish the sketch. As soon as it turns blue, it uh, it means we finished. If it does not turn blue, it means there is a gap somewhere. On the way, so you will probably have to undo and do it again if it's something like that at your end. But let's keep going. So I'm gonna go to finish sketch. I'm gonna turn off my canvas, and I'm gonna go to revolve. So the this here is our profile. So if uh, we select this, we actually unselect it. So this is a profile, and if you want to select the axis, we can actually choose the screen one. But if we do that, we get something we might not want. So we need to unselect it, and we need to select the center here, and then we get it like this. We can, of course, select something like 180 and just get the half. But of course, in this case, we want to have it 360. Right, or you can actually choose something what you want here, but yeah, so this is how you use revolve on the sketch on the image planes. So, I really hope you enjoyed uh, my tutorial, and um, yeah, just thank you so much for watching.